Hello Corkies, welcome back. Today we're going to one of the oldest, if not the oldest, brewery in America and doing a review of Yingling's Hershey Chocolate Porter. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hello everybody. We all know you're supposed to get joy and fascination from even the little things in life that most people take for granted. So here at Cork and Java, we're here to expand and enrich your experience with all of your favorite beverages through wine and coffee and other beverage reviews and how to's. So if you're new here and that sounds interesting, consider hitting that subscribe button down below and that little bell so you're notified when all of our future videos come out. All right, like I mentioned before, we are reviewing the Yingling Hershey Chocolate Porter. It uh, is um, a collaboration between uh, the Hershey Company and the Yingling Brewery to uh, bring you this chocolate porter. And you know, Yingling, I would describe it as a nice garage beer after you mow the lawn. It's, it's nothing to brag about, but you know, it's refreshing and it's very affordable. And uh, they do venture out and do some more crafty, like, kind of beers, other than their just general yinglings, like their dark chocolate porter, or, uh, and obviously now their Hershey's chocolate porter. So I'm excited to try this and see how it is. I'm a really big fan of, like, milk stouts and stuff like that, so I'm hoping we get some nice sweetness and uh creamy notes on this and I'm, I'm sure i'm sure we will so yeah look at the how dark this is very dark obviously porters and stouts can go very dark and this one's almost a black hole here on the nose you get chocolate right away but also kind of a nuttiness and you get a little bit of that yeasty hop still coming in from the the, the porter Mmm. Right off the bat, not too sweet. So that is a huge win. I was a little bit nervous that maybe they would come out with trying to do so much kind of Hershey's and not enough of the porter, but really they did a good job balancing it here. Yeah. So very nice, rich, you know, what you get from I don't know, kind of just a very hearty kind of porter or stout with very malty, uh, uh, nutty kind of characteristics. And the, the chocolate is definitely there. Um, if it wasn't marketed as Hershey's chocolate, I would still probably guess that they use chocolate in it, but it's a lot more subtle than I was expecting, which is great. I was really worried it was going to be overpowering. I've had some chocolate wines that were just so chocolatey and gross that it was just very off-putting. This is one that you could actually sip the whole way through and you're not going to get bored of having so much chocolate in there that it's just like, ugh, too much. Like, if you've ever had this sweet baby Jesus, whatever it's called, that uh, like peanut butter stout. Uh, like you have one sip, you're like, wow, this is interesting. That's kind of cool. But then after like three or four sips, you're like, okay, I'm done with drinking peanut butter. And <laughs> I could see how a lot of beers and stuff could go that way when they're going for like something super chocolatey or super artificial flavor of anything. But this, they did a really good job, like I said, of being balanced, not going over the top with their Hershey's chocolate flavor, but having it still come through subtly and nicely and in a nice balanced way. So yeah, guys, I'm pleasantly surprised with uh, the Yingling Hershey's combo here in their porter. If you've tried this one, let me know down in the comments what you thought of it. Um, if you're on the fence about whether or not you want to try this because you're a little bit nervous about 
whether it's gonna, you know, just not be a good combination, I would say go for it because it definitely isn't something that clashes or is crazy in any way. It definitely goes together and it's definitely balanced well enough to where you'll be able to enjoy uh, the, the entire six pack of it. Hopefully not at one time, but uh, definitely, it's, I don't think it would be something that you get bored of too quickly. So definitely check it out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also check us out on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys online. So until next time, bottoms up.